Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and it is day 14 here on Planet 26. And I also have Lieutenant Commander Butts here laying beside me. She's uh, one that uh, kind of demanding a lot of attention. So uh, I'm going to keep working away here as well as trying to keep uh, Lieutenant uh, Butts, Lieutenant Commander Butts, in check. So, so last episode we were working on the hangar and how appropriate that a dust storm should come up just about the time uh, we're getting started here. I had gotten the uh, hangar all laid out and actually got it uh, uh, started building. Uh, pretty happy with the way it had come out with the beams coming across. Uh, showing support and uh, got uh, the sides uh, all done uh, it kind of gives it some uh, interest uh, it's not just a square building and uh, it's large enough that it's gonna be able to house the 3d printer for making uh, my small ships so I think uh, oh and I also had gotten the uh, uh, grid or the uh, uh, come on uh, the conveyor system in place for the most part uh, this is going to bring in I just got to weld it all up this is going to bring in the ores That'll, they'll come in over to the main cargo bin that will uh, then uh, house or store the ore as they're coming in and then the uh, refinery can process it. I also uh, have the uh, started to get the conveyor system from the assembler storage area over to here. Now I gotta finish uh, putting that in and I gotta finish laying out exactly where I'm going to uh, place the conveyor system over here that will hook into the 3D printer. Uh, I think I was going to put the printer at this end, which would make sense. That's where the conveyor system is coming in. And then the projector system would be down here. So, uh, so today I got a weld up. I would like to get the hanger finished and maybe started on the 3D printer and getting that set up. So, I think with further ado, uh, I am going to start welding away and uh, I'll give you an update uh, once I get a little farther along. All right, well, just to give you a little bit of an update, uh, let's go up. I'm just about to finish the roof. I think I got enough steel on me that we can finish the roof and then I'll show you what I've done down below. Uh, I've actually got uh, some of the conveyor system in so that I don't have to keep running all the way over to the one that I set up over by the assemblers. And uh, this will be the... we'll get the roof done. And then I was just starting to think a little bit about what I'm going to do on the angles. I'm still debating on whether uh, I am going to put... I probably am going to put hangar doors right here. And then uh, this will be filled in. Uh, I've got some, uh, some of the flat panel blocks that I can use. Uh, I might put some sort of window design in here that goes along this edge because one of the problems that I'll run into is this block takes up the part of the space in there so I'm going to have to connect it on the outside which will be fine I should be able to do that and it should look pretty good uh, as you can see I got the uh, cargo container here that's hooked in that I can grab my uh, supplies from and what I did down below down here is I've ran this over and hooked it up 
And then I left this, uh, put a T-junction here, so if I have to run more uh, conduit or more conveyor system all along the bottom here, I'll be able to do that and be able to add that in. And I guess, I don't see any reason why I have to leave these in right here. Take these out. There we go. Well, that was just a little bit of an update on where I am at. And I'm going to keep building away here. Uh, see if I can't get the floor done now next and then start working on this area in here and start uh, building out the walls on this side. All right, well, I'll be back with you here in a little bit. Well, we are uh, moving along here. I got the floor all put in. That's completed. Uh, so that looks pretty good. Well, I don't have the outside floor done. I'm working on the inside first. Uh, this will be uh, probably a second uh, once I get this completed because I'd like to get the printer up and running at some point but I wanted to get this done too so uh, the printer is going to consist of basically a uh, uh, a piston that will have uh, welders on the end of it and then it'll extend out and then the projector will be down here and then uh, I'll probably have a control seat over here, somewhere about right here where I can see both, uh, something like that in here. And then uh, the piston will be extended out, the projection will be going, and then you'll just slowly back the piston uh, up or uh, reverse it, and it should uh, weld the small ship as it's building it. So anyway, that's kind of the idea of that. Uh, I also, uh, well, I did put a chair in here so I didn't have to constantly run back over to the uh, planet rover to get charged up. So that that's helping quite a bit. And <clears throat> I uh, got to uh, I'm not fully convinced that I like this, but at least why is it safety hazards? Uh, I think this is fine that this is open like this with the stairs coming up. Uh, I still got to figure out how I'm going to enclose this right here. So, you know, it's looking... Uh, I don't know if I just want to keep an open concept here. Uh, I might keep some of it open. Uh, keep some of it closed. The problem will be I've got this angled block coming up through here and so I've got to figure out how I want to cover that up. I can do that probably with uh, these uh, uh, single armor, what are they? Uh, seven uh, panels, uh, armor panels. I did get this done in through here so so as you're coming up the stairs, if you need to step out of the way a little bit, you can step out over here. And then I got the uh, door in uh, that uh, uh, to be able to come in through up and in to the uh, hangar, the droid hangar. Uh, yeah, that's where we're at right now. That's just a little bit of an update. Uh, I think next, my next step is to figure out how I'm going to enclose this? Uh, is it all? Is it going to be all windows? Uh, probably not. Uh, but I think I'm going to probably put some armor panel, maybe a strip of armor panel across the top, and then a row of windows coming across. Maybe a couple of windows, uh, and then another row of armor coming across this way of the probably the armor panels so uh well that's where we're at right now i just wanted to kind of give you an update 
on showing you the progress that's being made so you can kind of see the build coming along. I'll uh, uh, catch back up with you when I have a little bit more done. Well, as you can see, I've got scaffolding up and I've started to work on that facade. Uh, this side over here, I've got two windows in and I got the, the facade kind of completed. Uh, I don't think that looks too awful bad. So uh, I'll probably put windows all the way across there. And if we go inside and look at it, uh, the uh, tinted portion is from the outside so you can't see in, but uh, from the inside you'll be able to see out. So this is what it kind of looks like from the in, uh, inside looking out. So I think I'm going to like that. I think uh, what I want to do is try to get this, uh, get this panel or this side all completed. And then uh, we'll take a look at it and decide. Uh, for sure, I'm going to come down one more window. I don't know if I want to uh, put uh, windows down all the way down below. Uh, but I'll see how that looks when I get to it. Uh, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish this side all out, and then we'll see how it all turns out. So once I get that done, uh, I'll get back with you. Well, just another bit of an update. Uh, I am making some progress. I'm going to have a little bit of a problem with the windows, but uh, just trying to have make sure I have enough silicon. I uh, grounded everything out of the uh, planet rover and put that in. I've got the uh, uh, stone that's uh, processing uh, as much as it's coming in. So I'm trying to get uh, silicon as I as I can. I might have to do some uh, hand mining just to try to get some of that. Uh, just to make sure I get enough silicon. But I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, why don't we do this? Let's get, uh, we got a full panel. Yeah, I need to kind of put those up here. And then we should get be able to come close, other than maybe the windows, getting this facade all done. And that's a window. You know what? I, I I could probably paint that. Let's go four. Uh, shift. Yeah, that doesn't that that looks better. Uh, let's go seven. And we'll put those there. Oop. Oh, what's, what do I got going on here? Why will you not... Uh... Oh, I got that hinge in there. Ah, ah, shoot. Yeah, so I put... I use hinges because I wanted this to face outward. And so that hinge right there, it's actually part of the neon tubes. I call it a hinge uh, because it really doesn't uh, uh, show much. So I might have to, where does that, uh, is that, oh, uh, that's going to be this floor piece right here. Uh, well, I'll have to deal with that. I'll have to figure something out or kind of accept it the way it is. So, uh, but yeah, that's coming along. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is finish, get, uh, get this facade done and then start working on the windows. Uh, I'll finish, uh, f uh, welding these blocks all up across through here. And uh, I'll uh, catch back up with you here in a little bit as I've gotten this done. Uh, 
All right, well, I got the facade done. I don't know. I'm kind of wondering if it isn't better to keep one color and let's let's take a look at something here. All right. Uh, and we want gray. Let's see how this looks. I think I think breaking up the color a little bit. Plus it'll help it'll blend this in right here too. I didn't want to do that one. Yeah, actually, I think this is going to look a little bit better. Let's uh, paint this one back. All right, now let's look at that. Actually, I do. I like that better because that really kind of sets it off. It's not blue all the way down. I think that really helps break that up a little bit. So, I do. I like I like that. I think I'll leave that at that. So, I will put armor plating, I think, on these side ones here. Uh, well, at least the crossed. Although, I might leave, leave that the way it is, actually. Because that'll be gray coming out. Maybe, uh, maybe I might want to go. We can, uh, actually, we can paint this back. It's real easy to paint this back. It's one thing I like about the paint gun. Uh, so floor is gray on the inside, and that's that level right here. Oh, I didn't quite get this one quite. Oh, there we go. That will match that all the way around. And this is going to be gray coming out to here. This will all be gray through there. I think, yeah, I think uh, we'll leave it that for now anyway. I might change my mind, but uh, that'll, I think that'll be good. Uh, let's see. So, what's next? I need to... Ooh, that strike Corvette. I don't like the looks of that. Uh, he can just stay off out over there. And just... I've seen him before. He has uh, flown around before, so... As long as he uh, he's, looks like he's getting farther away. So, that's a good, good thing. Uh, so, let's... Uh, go back up and in here. I probably need to figure out some lighting in here. I think that's what I'll work on next is uh, see if I can't start getting some lighting. Well, I need to get uh, this filled in. And I, what I want to do here is uh, I'll probably maybe match this over here just like I did there on the ends. And then these are going to be hangar doors. And I think by... <laughs> By good luck, that I might have uh, built this up enough, because I think you need three, actually four blocks. So the the hangar door would fit inside there. That's one, and then it opens up 
two, three, three. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I I miscalculated on that. I didn't even think about the hangar doors when I built this, so I might have to do some uh, looking around or decide how I'm going to do the doors anyway. So uh, I tell you what, once I uh, get uh, get this in and this in over here and then maybe some lights up uh, I'll catch back up with you here in just a little bit well I uh, got a little farther along here <clears throat> I've kinda got everything built out with the exception of how I want to do the hangar doors I've just got to think about that I'm not gonna get that done today <clears throat> but I just wanted to kind of give you an update, show you what I've got going here. Uh, I've got uh, a door into here uh, so that I can come in and out right here. We'll have the hangar doors that can be open or closed. And then I've got a door over here on this other side. So I think that's going to work pretty good. So I just got to weld this all up and uh, probably will be pretty close to calling it a good for the video today uh, I might as well take these out I don't need these well I'm gonna leave those there that's how I get up on the roof if I have to so I might as well leave those in for right now uh, so uh, once I get this all welded up uh, I'll uh, get back with you and we can do a recap of everything we got done today so be with you in a bit Well, I think this is going to wrap it up. Let's do a uh, click, quick uh, review of what's done. The drone facility is almost complete. Not quite. The building itself is real close to being done. We've got uh, this side all uh, finished up and the building itself is all welded up. We've got uh, a door coming into the facility right here. So this is uh, comes in, in here come uh, into the enclosure uh, we got the uh, conveyor system built out all the way over to here uh, that was this part coming in through here we got this conveyors system all done and uh, plumbed in uh, up to the facility itself and uh, this way I was able to grab uh, parts as I needed them to build over here. I wasn't have to run all the way back over to the uh, uh, rover and the cargo bay outside. Uh, put a little chair in over here so that uh, I could get my energy so I didn't have to keep running over for that. Uh, as you can see we got the inside all done. The roof is all done. Uh, this uh, we've I like I like the windows that adds it allows light in from outside and uh, it looks pretty good uh, and we got this side of the facility uh, done I put a door in here uh, and there's a mirror image there's another door over here as you can see and next time I am going to put a door in over here with uh, catwalks running up from the outside out there. So, I think that's about going to do it for today. Uh, the drone facility is coming along. Uh, next time, uh, I hope to get the hangar doors figured out. Uh, something on them. I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping I can get them figured out. Uh, and I want to get the printer in and set up and then there's some more stuff I want to do in here I got to put lighting in here for sure and I also uh, would like to put maybe a, an upper level storage unit in here but I don't know I'm not sure how I want to do that uh, uh, I might try to put some sort of catwalk system up and around uh, I think it would look pretty good although it's a matter of 
how am I going to build it and how I, am I going to make it look supported because a lot of these like are half blocks and stuff like that so there's no attachment points on them same with along here it would be nice to build something out of here but there's no attachment points so it's going to be kind of difficult I'll, I'll see if I can't come up with something on it anyway all right well let's uh, step outside the sun's coming up another uh, nice day on planet 26 all right well if you like this video please hit that thumbs up it really helps the video out a lot and please subscribe that really helps the channel uh, all right all you space engineers out there uh, keep your heads low keep building away uh, don't get shot and with that Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.